Some hospital patients in Norfolk and Virginia Beach are lying in some strange looking linens tonight, and it's all part of a study that may one day save your life. Sentara and EVMS are doing the world's largest clinical trial testing the power of copper to kill life threatening infections like MRSA. Then in your side, Stephanie Harris went to Sentara Lee today to see how this is all supposed to work. Steph? Well, Tom, when you think about copper, maybe a penny is the first thing that pops into your mind. Now, we all know carrying around a pocket full of pennies probably won't buy you much of anything these days, let alone protect you from a deadly infection. But when you wear it the right way, doctors are hopeful it will. When Melanie Beebe checked into the hospital, right away she noticed something strange. I just thought it was odd that the sheets were brown. And that's not all. She questioned whether her bedside table and sinks were even clean. Just because it didn't look shiny and sparkly like it does when you go to other places. The reason these things look so different is because they're infused with copper. We've known since antiquity that there are certain metals and uh, properties of metals that uh, kill germs. But not until recently did scientists figure out a way to get the germ-fighting part of copper into everyday products. Remember these miners in Chile who were trapped underground in 2010? They got terrible foot infections. A Richmond-based company sent some copper socks down the shaft, and when they emerged... Their feet were in tremendous shape. Um, so the copper did work. Dr. Scott Miller is hopeful the same technology will work to protect patients from life-threatening infections like this. It's estimated that 400,000 patients a year get MRSA and other infections in hospitals. Some of them die. I'm tickled pink that I, I get to be at the hospital where uh, this is being trialed. Studies show copper is 99.9% .9 effective in killing germs within two hours. They're putting it in things nurses and patients touch often, like towels, linens, and hard surfaces. But Dr. Paul Merrick assures it's not hard on the body. The EPA has determined that copper is not toxic to humans. And patients say it's not hard to the touch either. When you look at them, you think that it's going to be, you know, really rough, but they actually feel pretty good. And if they work the way doctors hope, it could change hospital design forever. So how long will the copper keep working? Well, you'll hear that part of the story tonight at 6. Also, one of the nurses told me that her son used a copper pillowcase, that copper infused pillowcase, and that now 80% of his acne has cleared. So this could have far-reaching implications. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side. Hmm.